Hey, dude, did you see? Um, and it's and it's quite predictable. But uh, Jeremy Clarkson, you know, he's got a new series of that thing coming out. It's so funny because people have been saying, you know, you know, the football's been on Amazon Prime this month, and they paid mm. ninety million for it. And people are like, who'd want to, who'd want to get Amazon for that? And it's like, well, isn't isn't Jeremy Clarkson like their biggest star? You know, isn't that their most popular show? It does better than most BBC programs. You know, it's like, what is it called? The the Grand Tour or something. Um, oh, yeah, the Grand Tour is hugely Grand Tour, successful. Yeah. yeah, hugely successful. And everyone's like, why would anyone want that free with the shipping? And it's like, what, eight, eight pound a month for your, your Premier League football? You'll be fine with that, thank you very much. But yeah, it's got a new series of the Grand Tour coming out uh, mm. very, very soon. And, and so surprise, surprise, he's had a pop at Greta Thunberg. Yeah, so he's been going around doing the rounds and he said that um, she should go back to school, which is true, by the way. Um, did you see that interview with her where they were, where she was saying, this isn't about the environment? That she finally, this is why finally free speech... Finally admitted it. Yeah, this is why free speech is so important. So cunts like us that have been saying for months that this is just like weird authoritarian control via the, you know... The, the the green movement or whatever and she said yeah we need to destroy capitalism and all this and and you know there was there was a few people saying actually um you know we're, we're doing quite well as a species and she's like, how dare you but yeah now that clarkson's come out people are doing this amazing thing where there's signs that say look out for cyclists and it's got a car and a cycle so they're they're sticking jeremy clarkson's head onto the driver <coughs> and then greeter's head <laughs> onto the cyclist with how dare you <laughs> well i love it the fact that they're all over twitter going, yeah oh God, who are yeah. you you irrelevant boomer you know you're nobody no one's interested he's like guys you're just helping him so fucking much he's insanely popular whether you just because you know that's the thing they all get carried away with twitter and think that that's somehow representative of the the, the, the country at large no oh, but they don't yeah, realize yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's just them on Twitter, nothing more, nothing less, just a bunch of self-important little pricks thinking they could tell the whole world how things work. Yeah, and and, and, and the only thing Clarkson says to Amazon is, um, oh yeah, by the way, I'm trending worldwide on Twitter. Oh cool, sweet. <laughs> you know, you know, this it's the same as what happens with Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan laughs at all these people yeah. sharing him and, and trying to shame him. But he's like, yeah, but he's now the most well-known, literally the most well-known breakfast presenter on the planet. Yeah. He, he quite openly bragged about getting a pay rise on the back of this. And fucking Clarkson, I'm sure, is doing very well out of it all as well, you know? Um, Jeremy Clarkson is tremendously liberal. Um, you know, he's, he's uh, he, he was a Remainer. He, he's into farming now, sustainable farming. These people are too fucking stupid to see that he's taken shtick that he's been doing for 20-odd years, 30 years, and refined it to the point that he can have people in apoplexy because although he is all those things, he's also just not a one-dimensional prick. I really like Jeremy Clarkson. I can't help it, you know? It doesn't bother me one way or the other. Like, I'm just, like... Richard Hammond, I don't like. No, well, don't like him. Jeremy Clarkson, like him a lot. Yeah, Hammond's Hammond's just got that vibe about him, hasn't he? I spilt my tea before we went live. Like seconds before we went live, I just spilt my tea here, so I'm just cleaning it. There we go. Well, <laughs> hopefully Greta will just you know go and get a life, you know, get a boyfriend, have a couple she, of kids, get she, on child benefit. Yeah, you know. she genuinely, genuinely needs to go to school, go back to school. She really, really does. She's 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 the victim at the moment and it's and it's really bad it's really really bad man some some evil people are, are hiding behind her currently mm. and it but really every time you me. say that i just get told okay boomer mm. you know is that all you can say about this brave young woman like, no i can say lots lots more as well yeah i saw i saw tim pool um put out a tweet about how um she she posted a picture of the inside of the boat she's in or she was in i think she's arrived now and um he 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 did the maths on all the gear that was behind her around you know, like solar panels and all the tracking systems and all that, all this environmental stuff as well by the way that's you know great as you're using it uh but he put out a tweet saying like well you, the the cost of producing all that makes it worse in terms of carbon oh, yeah. than if she'd have got a plane because electric that plane... cars electric you're better off buying a 40 year old car 
But well, in terms of yeah, but in terms of crossing the Atlantic, she would have been better off going to the airport and getting the next plane that had an empty seat mm. because that plane is flying anyway. It yeah. is producing the carbon anyway. Oh, we all like, know it's you know, bollocks, though, don't yeah. we? It's just oh, yeah, publicity yeah. stunt after publicity stunt. I mean, was it some prick glued himself to the front of the Lib Dem bus the other day? I'm just like, drive off. Yeah, I know. The, apparently... only, there's only two options. He'll either peel himself yeah. off or he'll be stuck there, but probably only for a couple of miles. And she stood there giving him time of day. And, and he said, he, he, he accused her of patronising him. And it's like, mate, you stood there dressed as a fucking bee. Apparently one of them was a doctor. The mouthy one was a doctor. And it's like, you could be you could be actually saving lives right now. And you're dressed like a fucking bee, gluing yourself to an electric bus. Jesus Christ, man. But the problem is, though, I, I can't blame him. Because, you know, the Lib Dems and Labour and obviously Green are all now adopting their policy demands. Oh, so yeah. what, <coughs> what can you say? You know, there's, there's all these sort of like bitch politicians who think they're doing the right thing by just capitulating to them. And it's like, no, man, you don't negotiate with terrorists. You don't do it. Um, you, you tell them to go fuck themselves. You, as you said, just drive the truck, drive the van. George W. Okay. Boother. <laughs> Um, fuck off. <laughs> Isn't there a law? Didn't America bring a law in in one of the states where, if because so many people were blocking the street like that, they've brought in a law now that you can just you can just drive. You've got you, it's like a, there's a, you give them a fair warning, and if they don't move, it's like, well, okay, sorry, mate, you're in the road. Um, which that's which, a fantastic law. I know. Well, can you imagine Charlottesville if that had been like if the person that did it had got off on a technicality, <laughs> even though it was like obviously a lunatic. It's like we've yeah. not done any shout-outs. Got to say Scott Blithing, so Blithing, so 